Hi, Liz Ness here. In the video today, I'm going to show you how to create this mosaic inspired uh, pattern. And we're going to be using the um, drawing guide and specifically the symmetry guide to make the drawing process just a tad bit easier. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have in front of me a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi, which equals 300, sorry, three. 3,600 or 3,600 pixels uh, square. Um, and let's see, to get started, I am going to use a watercolor set that is available through my shop, and I will leave a link in the description below, but I like watercolor, and that's why I'm gonna use this set, but you, of course, can use any brushes that you like. And these watercolors are kind of unusual. They are a two-color brush, which means that I will choose a primary color, which, let's see, here I'm going to choose 25% gray, okay, and then for the secondary color, I think I'm gonna go with a 75% uh, gray, and then I need to click over to make sure that the primary color is the lighter one here. Okay, and that sets up my brush, and then I wanna set up my um, canvas, I want a drawing guide, so I'm gonna turn that on, and then I'm gonna edit the drawing guide, and I'm gonna select symmetry, and under options, I wanna make sure that assisted drawing is on, and I'm gonna be using the radial symmetry guide. So let's go ahead and tap done and done again, and we're ready to get started drawing. So let's see, I've got, oops, I want my stems there, and uh, somewhere around 22% I think is probably good. And then I'm just gonna start drawing right here. That's neat. Okay, I kind of like that. I think I'm gonna stop here for now on this one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer on top of that. I'm gonna turn off the assisted here, but I'm gonna turn it on here. Let's see, drawing assist, there we go. Okay, so on that new layer, let's see, I'm going to want, I'm gonna go back to my brushes here and choose the pointy petals. I'm gonna dial it all the way up. Okay, and I'm gonna have this go sort of crossways here, so. Okay, and now I'm gonna do another little trick here. Let's see. I am gonna go ahead and hold and press the eraser so it chooses the same brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some erasures so that I can have just a little bit more uh, detail in here. All right, so let's see. Um, I'm trying to decide if that's a good enough size. I think I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna turn off drawing assist now, and I'm gonna go over to my transform tool, and I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the size on that just a little bit. And I have snapping on with a distance of three, and I'm just gonna go ahead and move this around until it's centered, and I will see the golden lines uh, vertical and horizontally when that is centered, and that looks pretty good. Okay, I think I wanna um, do the eraser just a little bit more in here. And actually, let's go back to, assisted because I want that to so drawing assist okay so yeah there we go that is kind of neat maybe just a little bit more at the top there okay cool okay that looks really neat that's a really neat little uh, uh, flower going on there I like that a lot okay so we're getting close to done here so now what I need to do is I am going to let's see what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and turn off assist again, and I want to make a duplicate of that, and another duplicate, and another duplicate, and actually another duplicate. <laughs> so this bottom one is gonna stay on the in the center, but these others we're gonna put out to the side. This is just your basic offset pattern. So I'm gonna grab my transform tool here, and then I'm gonna move this up, and I'm gonna place it right along the midpoints, right along the edges of the canvas here. And when it's perfect, it'll have the little golden lines because it'll be snapped right into the corner there. And 
group up these side ones um, just by selecting them and grouping them like that. And then I can fold them all together. Okay, and then I'm gonna, and then add a, a, a layer on top of that. Okay, so we're gonna go up above there and we're gonna go, let's see, swap these again. Okay, and I'm gonna just keep the pointy petals and I'm just gonna draw right above there. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the assisted again, drawing assist, there we go. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and go like that, like that, and like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. And maybe a little hard. Oh, that's cute. Okay, <laughs> and then maybe do I wanna uh, erase it in the center? Maybe I do. So I'm gonna press down, hold, and then just go in the center here. Oh yeah, okay. That might've been too much. Just a little dot right in the center. There we go, okay. So now let's uh, go ahead and turn off the assisted drawing. And then we're gonna make a couple copies of this. So we need four of these all together. Actually, I'm gonna make five because I kind of like that in the center and I think I might wanna keep in the center of that flower, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So let's just go ahead and make an extra one. And then I'm gonna turn the visibility of that bottom one off. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take this first one here and select the transform tool and move it all the way over here to the, the side and I want it lined up in the middle and then on the edge, just like that. Let's see, did I, oops, did I move it? I think I just did when I picked up my hand. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, that's really cute. Oh my goodness, I really like the, the look of this so far. Okay, so now let's think about that. Do we want that in the center? I really like that in the center. I think it's super cute. And it looks okay without it too, so that would be the lighter uh, of the flowers. And that's that brings me to another point. I kind of want to make this center one just a tad darker than those ones that are outside. So I'm thinking that I am going to go ahead and duplicate this. No, actually, you know what? Instead of duplicating it, let's just go ahead and select that layer and go up to uh, hue, saturation, and brightness. And we're just like layer. And then let's just play with the brightness a little bit. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, that looks really cool. All right, so I'm going to live with that. And now I'm going to go ahead and just turn off my uh, drawing guide because I don't really need it anymore. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my brushes and I have another set that's available uh, to my email subscribers called uh, Essential Starters. And actually all of these essential ones with shapes and outliners and whatnot are available to my email subscribers. So anyway, I'm going to go to a starter and I'm going to select this texture starter and I'm going to duplicate that by sliding it gently to the left. And then I'm just going to put this, I have a demos uh set here. I'm just going to put it right inside of there so I don't get confused. And then I'm going to come over here to my wrench and I'm going to select add and then copy canvas. And then I'm going to go over to my brush and tap it. And these essential starters are great because they tell you which shape that you need to replace. It's not going to be the uh, shape source. It's going to be the grain in this case because it says replace this image. So we're just going to go ahead and edit that and import and paste. Awesome. And we're tap done. Now, as you notice, it's all very, very bright white. There's no watercolor goodiness. So what that means is that we need to go to our rendering and we're going to change that to light glaze. Ooh, I really like that. Ooh, that makes me so happy. Okay. Anyway, that's pretty nice. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Now I'm going to go back to grain and I'm trying to think if I want to scale this up just a bit so that's a bigger, sort of a bigger pattern. And I kind of like it about that size. That looks really neat. Okay, so when you're satisfied, go ahead and tap done. And now we're gonna go ahead and test our brush. So we're gonna go to the very top layer there, add a layer, make sure we have white. Just go ahead and fill that layer with white and then create a new layer on top of that. And then, ooh, I've got this really pretty blue here. Um, let's find out what that is. Um, that is a hex value of 3B5985 if you wanna use the same value. Okay, that's really a pretty color. <laughs> okay, so back to my brush here. Okay, and I'm just gonna dial this up. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down and oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I like, whoopsie, I've gone over the top. I slipped my finger, so let's do that again. Okay. 
and I'm going to make a texture stamp of this after I get it all laid down. And the reason I do that is because I'm almost always slipping my finger. So, um, let's see, there we go. Okay, there's our pattern and it's a really cute mosaic. It really is, I, I really dig this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over to those essential starters again. And let's just scroll, well, let's see, where did I put those? Right up here, okay. And this time, this one, pattern stamp starter, it's big. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that and I'm gonna put that in my demo uh, pile here. Whoops, okay drop it in there. And now I'm going to go over to my wrench and copy the canvas. Okay, and go right in here. And this one, it looks like it's going to be this shape that we replace. So we'll just edit and import and paste. Awesome. And let's see, I want to do that so that the, the lighter color is the one that has, that gets the color that you choose. So that's what I want here. And oh, I just love this. Okay. Okay, done. All right, and done. Okay, and now uh, by making it a stamp like that, and you can change the size and whatnot, but making it a stamp like that, let's go ahead and create a new layer here. It makes it a lot easier. Let's go back to our colors here, and I'm gonna choose a different color this time, like a brighter, um, like red or purple. That looks pretty. Okay, and now that I have the stamp selected, I can just punch right in there. Oops, let's make that bigger. I can just tap right in there and it lays it down and that's a lot faster. So I like to, I, I do often make these into bigger stamps, the patterns, just so it's easier on me. <laughs> so anyway, that's a pretty cool pattern and let's see what happens when you uh, duplicate it. You can, I think, make it a little bit more intense. That's pretty cool too. Um, but this is a lot of fun and um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed making it. It was a lot of fun. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos become available. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.